Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for that introduction and, and thank you all for being here today. I apologize if I'm uh, a little loopy. I just got off of the 15 hour flight, so I'm still adjusting to the time a little bit. But, um, you know, hopefully today's session will be pretty informative for everyone. Um, uh, again, from Thomson Reuters, so we're a technology company. And when we talk about transfer pricing, um, you know, traditionally it's something that's been, you know, done on an outsourcing basis. But, you know, over the course of time, you know, various companies have come up with databases, softwares to make the process more efficient. So that's really going to be the focus of today, um, specifically relating to transfer pricing documentation. You know, as we observe the latest developments from the OECD and BEPS, we see that the landscape is changing. And we uh, are very concerned from a technological standpoint to make sure that we have solutions to match kind of the development uh, of some of these regulatory efforts. So uh, just a quick rundown of the agenda. Um, you know, first we'll start just a brief overview of what the landscape is today, how it has changed. Uh, over the past couple of years, you know, right now I think we're really at a, a very interesting time when there's, you know, a lot of moving parts and, and the topic of transfer pricing, while not always termed transfer pricing, uh, is coming up in media and, and news, um, you know, from the, the President of the United States, um, you know, to, to smaller media outlets. So it's, it's a very interesting time for transfer pricing. We'll talk a little bit just about the, the local uh, issues uh, in South Africa and Africa as a whole, and then really drill down on BEPS action item 13, which is really the topic uh, of discussion today with documentation. And then we'll kind of transition into some of the tools um, that are available and some solutions that individuals and, and uh, corporate taxpayers and service providers have have taken on to address some of these challenges and, and stay up to date with the changing environment. And we'll do a couple of, uh, two brief videos um, just uh, showcasing a couple case studies uh, from some clients of uh, Thomson Reuters. So when we think about the, the landscape and, you know, the, the session before this, you know, obviously was, was spent really drilling down on, on BEPS. But um, we know that there's uh, a lot of increased scrutiny. Um, that's really kind of the, the main takeaway. Um, you know, governments and tax authorities are becoming more aggressive because, you know, it's very apparent that many corporations um, engage in efficient tax planning, strategic tax planning that is focused on, you know, maximizing your worldwide effective tax rate and minimizing, um, you know, the amount of profits in high tax jurisdictions. I mean, you know, transfer pricing on a practical level, if you think about it, if you pay your income taxes, you want to try to find every deduction that you can. You want to make sure that, um, you know, your tax base is as, as small as possible. So while it is a very controversial issue, um, again, when we get into the legality, that's when, when things get a little, uh, a little hazy. Um, but as we specifically talk about where we are today um, and just Africa in general and developing nations, we see a lot of uh, evolution of transfer pricing regulation, either from countries that haven't had much formal documentation in the past, or just an advancement of, that, uh, of those requirements that are being enforced um, you know, for transfer pricing. Now we're, we're kind of at the uh, a main ticking point with, uh, with BEPS, especially when talking about documentation. September is kind of a big month. Um, I think there's a, a, there was a meeting announced sometime in the next week or so when the kind of, uh, you know, more formalized, revised requirements and, and suggestion and proposed guidelines for documentation will be released. And um, clearly it's garnered a lot of attention um, from, you know, from the, the globe as a whole, but also, you know, obviously focused on G20. And as we look ahead to the, the following months and years, we're going to really see how many countries adopt BEPS and these new documentation requirements um, and, and really see how they, you know, how they implement these changes because as we know the OECD isn't a, a regulatory body, it's a, it's a, you know, they provide guidance and overviews. It's really up to the local jurisdictions to enforce that guidance. So um, it's really going to be an interesting couple of months uh, to say the least. Now, when considering taxpayer behavior, you know, number one, as, as we mentioned, all taxpayers want to minimize.